So welcome back to part two of my PSP hidden gem videos. And this is a Japanese import edition. I import actually quite a lot of Japanese games from uh, for the PSP since the PSP is such an awesome device and a lot of those games are quite good or a, a lot of fun and they are really cheap. All the games I will be showing you are under 10 euros. I think only one game was above 10 dollars. Um, so yeah we start off with Tales of the, so Tales of, of the Heroes Twin Braves. This is a Dynasty Warrior-ish battle system with a lot of characters of the Tales of RPG series and the game is such a cool game first off it looks amazing for the PSP the, the soundtrack is really cool you can level up all the characters you can buy the new equipment uh, play to all their storylines to unlock even more characters all the side characters for all the Tales of games this game is such a lot of fun and it's really dirt cheap the quality is high if you love RPGs, if you love the Tales of series, or you just want to play a Dynasty Warrior game that's not Dynasty Warriors on your PSP, definitely check out Tales of the Heroes Twin Braves. Actually, in the same genre, there is Sengoku Basara Chronicle Heroes. I actually haven't been playing the game for that long, but it only cost me six freaking euros. Six euros, seriously, around eight or nine dollars. There's also part 2 that I haven't gotten just yet, but it is the Sengoku Basara series. It's a more of a wacky semi warriors where like Date has six swords. It's totally over the top, but it's a really cool series. I freaking love it. And uh, yeah, it's on the PSP. It's just like the Dynasty Warriors and the semi warrior games on the PSP they're really dumped down but they're still a lot of fun to play when you have a little bit of time so yeah definitely check out Sengoku Basara Chronicle Heroes or Chronicle Heroes 2 now this is by far a hidden gem even I didn't know the game existed and I've been definitely been you know on YouTube for a really long time and I never ever heard anyone talk about this game it is Is vs The Legend of Heroes Alternate Saga. And the thing is, think us as a Super Smash Brothers, but, but then with a top down view with the Is and the Legend of Hero characters. I mean, doesn't that sound freaking awesome? With the amazing music that comes with an Is and a Legend of Heroes games, packed in together with a shit ton of characters. Uh, again, you can level them up, buy them new equipment, the game is amazing. The quality for this game is outsta outstanding for a PSP game and so freaking cheap that's just, you have to get it. If you love RPGs, if you love Super Smash, if you love Ease or Legend Heroes, you just have to get, or just a collector, you have to get this game. It's absolutely fantastic. I spent several hours just playing this game, leveling up the characters, unlocking other characters, you have to get East versus The Legend of Heroes Alternate Saga. Definitely by far, quality wise, the best. Now this is actually one of my most played games on the PSP. I love the anime series and it's Iki Tausen Cross Impact. And it is a 2D beat em up just like Streets of Rage, an you know, old school beat em up with pretty much all the Icky Tausen female characters um, up until you know when the series got in that time. <laughs> uh, maybe they already made another series, but uh, with other characters. But yeah, there's a shit ton of characters. You have to unlock them, I think, in story mode. Since I'm only doing always arcade, arcade, arcade mode. Um, it is quite, you know, I haven't unlocked any of the other female characters yet. But just like all the other games I showed, you can level them up. You can actually buy them new equipment, but you can boost up their stats, like boosting up their HP and their strength and this and that. 
Um, the game is a lot, I mean, a shit ton of fun. It's so weird because you're doing the same thing over and over and over again, the same levels, the same enemies, but for some reason, it's just a lot of fun to play 2D beat em ups. Um, it really feels like you're playing an arcade game. The graphically, the game looks amazing. One of the best looking games, in my opinion, on the PSP. It almost looks identically to the anime series. And uh, yeah, there's also a version called A Liquid Fist, but that is the first version. This is the second one, so it has more characters and more content in the game. So definitely check out Iki Tausen Cross Impact. Last, but definitely not least, for all the Schmop fans, we have a really small little Schmop. Uh, nothing special, don't expect quality of a cave Schmop. But Neo Geo Ultimate Shooter, the 20th anniversary of Neo Geo, is a really cool little shmup with a couple of the famous characters of Neo Geo. Like I said, don't expect too much, but if you just want to buy a new shmup, you want to see something new, and the game only costs a couple of bucks, definitely try this out. But I have to say though, you can also just download the English version on the European PlayStation Network or the American PlayStation Network for a couple of bucks. But uh, it's kind of funny, it's actually a lot more expensive on the network and actually importing the game from Japan. This cost me like uh, six or seven euros, it's like eight or nine dollars, so that's kind of weird. Um, so yeah, Neo Geo Ultimate Shooter, a really cool shmup, definitely check it out. So those were a couple of the hidden gems I have in my Japanese import PSP collection. I definitely need a lot more. I mean, my collection is just this big for the PSP, for Japanese import, and we all know how many games there are on the PSP. I'll be definitely be trying to find new games. And maybe you are importing Japanese games for the PSP or just for the PSP itself. Leave in the comments below if you have a hidden gem game that I should uh, be in, I should, so that I should check out. <laughs> and I'll be definitely be looking into it if it's a good game for me. Um, and like always, you will see me next time.